Hello everyone, this is Venus Brown. I'm back with another reaction. This is to The Inbetweeners, Season 1, Episode 2. Of course, the first episode, we meet all the main characters. They're kind of outcasts. I would say that the main group of friends at first were maybe like middle of the road, a little bit outcast, but not like total outcast. Then we meet the new kids who are very much outcasts. And of course, the main character is trying to fit in somewhere, makes an ass of himself over and over again. He doesn't seem to understand how to behave around teenagers and does a lot of things that are just going to get himself really shunned. So again, this is The Inbetweeners, Season 1, Episode 2. Let's start the show. The local park, where people come to play, hang out with their friends, and let their dogs shit. <laughs> oh, a lot of here don't allow pets, unless you go to the dog park, and then it's mostly for the dogs. Girls love this. Water collies love this. You're just scared to play football in case Donovan joins in. He's probably just scared to play football, period, no matter who joins in. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, oh. oh my god. I'm really, really, really sorry. Just I sobie tato. Idiota. Ślepy jesteś. Otwórz oczy. Open up your eyes. That's what I'm assuming. <laughs> So I think this was actually from the teaser that I watched the first time. I wasn't sure it was from the right thing, whether it was from the show or the movie. Left it out. Is the girl in the wheelchair all right? No, I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. Bloody non-uniform day! I don't believe you. Will? Yes, it's a non-uniform day. Both my kids went to charter schools until high school. I think there were usually once a week that they got to dress down. This is Mrs. Cooper. Simon is. What exactly is wrong with Simon? Food poisoning. Okay, Simon. That's enough. I know you're bullshitting me. <laughs> that was fucking dreadful. <laughs> I think he thought that was my mum. No. He was very clear that he knew it was you. Simon's dad's suit and looking a bit like a Hasidic Jew. Yeah, I was gonna say he looks Jewish. <laughs> what? I'm like those morons, I knew the key to getting served was confidence. Um, Good day. You tried that last time. It's Carly's mum, innit? He wants to suck your Carly's tits! What a jerk. Probably need some, um, alcohol as well. Uh, yeah, you sound so confident. Beef eater gin? Nasty. Extra strong mints for those who are drink driving. Pounds fifty. Anything else? Jambui. Jambui. I don't know what that tastes like, but I remember I should invite you to the, party. the name. <laughs> My dad's not Ben because he's got hundreds of porn mags. <sighs> this is Mr. Gilbert, Simon's head of six. <laughs> I want to lose it with someone I love. Oh what? Like Carly? Probably worth mentioning to her then, mate. Worst that can happen, you get nothing. Best that can happen, you get stinky fingers. You disgusting humans I've ever met. <laughs> Prince Harry's had a few drinks and now he thinks he's odd. Prince Harry. <laughs> no Prince Harry. I would consider him more of a Prince Harry than the other guy. On your face! On your face! Well, I'm especially surprised at you. I'm so sorry. Piss off! He's just so good at making himself look a certain kind of way. It's like so clueless. What's he gonna knock up? A closet for you to hide in, you bumder! Oh my god, what an idiot. A bit too far. Way too far? I love Carly. Gotta tell her, what if she feels the same? Seems fairly unlikely. Life is about these moments. It's the things you... Why are you vandalising my drum? What's it say? What? You love me? This couldn't have gone any better. Actually, I think this is pretty cool, Simon. It's like Banksy or something. Why don't you come over to mine tonight? I'm babysitting for my brother and we can sort this out then, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Incredibly. Of course he's in there, she is wet for you, mate. Oh my god, you guys are so dumb. His whiskey now tastes of apple juice. What's that? Fuck off. <laughs> you are in such shit. You wrote it on the pavement outside her house. <laughs> How sad is a date at her house tonight? He's such a sad. sad because. <laughs> <laughs> 
I know some of us Americans don't really know some of the verbiage in the UK and stuff, but I feel like a lot of it is, like, you can tell by the words they're saying and the way they say it, what they're saying. The only thing I had to really look up was bellend. But even that, when you find out what it actually is, it makes sense. Are you his chaperone? No, it's cool, babe. She's going to watch the kid whilst we chat about, you know, our feelings. <laughs> Come on in then. Chris is in there. Come on, you. Let's get a drink. <laughs> he at least seems to be sort of taking it in stride. It's amusing. What's a dirty bomb? Nuclear bomb that terrorists would use to kill everyone in London. It's for girls. I am a girl. This is a man's drink. If you don't want it, I'll have it. It looks disgusting. Looks like victory punch or something. Mm, yeah. Sure, that's gonna totally make her want you. A few thousand dead? My mum and dad are in London. Would they be killed? Oh, yes. Not only killed, but obliterated. So oblivious. We'll rename this show Oblivion. Dumbass Oblivion. We'll call it that. You know why I'm here. And you know why I'm here. Is he gonna end up vomiting? Got a boyfriend. What? Just finger yourself in front. Oh God, he's. You're, you're being this drunk is not an excuse for the things you're saying. Yeah. So are you alright? Don't get closer. Okay. At least you didn't throw it on her. Holy crap. There's lots of like. Uh, marble or corian or something there, so that should be fairly easy to clean off. Hi. He's just batting a thousand. We're telling a seven-year-old about terrorists. He won't see for a week now. Talk about us, and have you got any neurofen? It's just like. Ah. Yeah, I don't think so. I think most of that stuff would have already been expelled from his stomach. Need to write it off. There's no writing that off. Isn't that your mum's car? That's Neil's dad's car. Oh shit. They're all over there. Sit down, you two. Exactly. You have to sit down and take your punishment like a man. Damn straight. Because he touched us. God. Don't do that. Just because Kevin's gay doesn't mean he goes. Wait, no, I'm not gay. It's all right, Kevin. We're all friends. Doesn't matter. No, was married for nearly. Oscar Wilde was married. Yeah, you can be married and still be gay. You still shouldn't make assumptions. Seriously. But if you want to tell us the truth that, it's... that it never happened. We'll move on to the other thing. The truth is, we're alcoholics. You have to help us. Oh, we're literally God. out of control. Just and tell the freaking us. truth. At this point, it's better than all the bullshit you're coming up with. Oh, those are the reactions of parents that were once kids and know what kids are capable of. Oh shit, shit indeed. <laughs> you are in the sick form, so actually you're under no legal obligation to attend school. <laughs> if you want to piss away your chance of grooving your lives, then be my guest. <laughs> oh great, brilliant. Thanks sir. Phoning the school and pretending to be your parents. Oh, that, my little friends, is fraud. I might have to get my husband to watch this with me because I think he'd like this. Even though it's so completely ridiculous. Sometimes like the ridiculous shows. Hang on, this didn't even end well. No, it didn't. All right, so that was the Inbetweeners episode two. Pretty funny. They keep making asses of themselves and they keep just doing stupid shit that's gonna get them in trouble. Ah. Oh. Wow, like, I don't know how dumb you can possibly be, but they are about as dumb as they come, as far as I can tell. The parents there, the parents' reactions, that just cracked me up, because sometimes you can just see what your kids are doing from a mile away, because you've done stupid-ass shit like that before, or you're like, oh my god, like, I've tried to do some really stupid shit when I was a kid, but this just freaking takes the cake. And that's the kind of reaction they were having. Like, oh my god, these guys are so freaking ridiculous. Anyway, that's all I got for you this week. I'll see you next week. Bye. Until next time, I'll see you when I see you. 
If you like this video, please click the like button. If you want more content, click subscribe. If you click that little bell and click all, then you'll get more content notifications.